There's a lot of reasons why we should go with the Durabilt Hammerlock Coupler Link. And I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing on my vehicle today. It's the 2001 Tahoe. So the problem I was running into was the links on my camper. The chains were one, just a little too long or a little too short, but then two, my little hitch pin was kind of getting in the way. So it was just kind of a hassle to get it in and, and out. So with the hammer lock, this is gonna be super nice because all I have to do is just link this thing around one time and then put the little pin through it and then we're pretty much ready to go. So this is just gonna give me a better point. And since I have this pretty neat little hitch step, I wanna make sure I have enough length too because a lot of the times I'm turning and I can hear these chains kind of like rubbing up against it and then also pulling against it. I don't really feel like getting new chains. So the very, very simple and easy solution for this is using the hammer lock. The way you wanna install this, we're gonna take one section, we're gonna slide that through and then notice how one's gonna have two and the other one's gonna have one. We're gonna do the opposite. So we just wanna sandwich those in there. We're gonna take our little rod right here. We're gonna go halfway through. And then we're gonna have this little piece that goes in the middle, like that. And once these are on there, they're on there. So you'll sit there and hit it with a hammer. And that's another reason why I really like this because it's gonna be a lot more secure. So you're gonna hear a lot of noise if someone's trying to take this thing off because they could probably do it with like a punch or something, but you're gonna hear it. So that's another reason why I like it. It's very, very secure because compared to some of the other ones that we have, like, yeah, this solution would work. I can get it to fit. I'll probably do it like this, but someone can easily just come up here and loosen this and then take it. Uh, I don't want that. I want to put something on there that's going to stay. And then I could also get something bigger, which isn't going to be secure. But again, this just looks kind of idiotic, to be honest, on this car, because this one is not that big. I just think that's kind of ridiculous looking. So you do want to make sure you get the right one, which is why I went with this one. So this one's going to have a weight rating of 4,500 pounds, and that's each. So collectively together, it's gonna to be about 9,000 pounds. And that's pretty much the maximum amount of weight that I put onto my hitch. And this thing is made of steel, but it's a grade 80 hardened steel. So this thing is extremely tough. I've seen it used in a lot of different applications like this, but also just hoisting things up. So there's a lot of versatility with the hammer lock. I have that extra little bit, maybe like a link amount of length. So now I'm not gonna be dragging on the ground, but also it's not gonna come up here and start rubbing or put enough tension on it to break this off. So I just wanna help all my equipment out so I don't have to replace anything. And I definitely think this is the right move for me. So that's the coupler link I use for my specific vehicle. We have a couple different sizes. So depending on what you're hauling, whether it's something small like this or something a little bit bigger, Hammerlock is gonna be the most secure and it's also gonna be the toughest thing out on the market. So definitely go ahead and grab yourself the right size Hammerlock coupler link. And I'm Adam with E-Trailer, hope this helped.